Hello friends and welcome again to Tutorials Point. Well, what is it that you need to succeed at your workplace? Well, needless to say, of course, it is nothing but leadership skills, right? Now, what is it that makes a leader a good leader? Or what is it that does not make a normal, you know, employee into a good leader? So what is it that you actually need to be a good leader so that you can actually succeed at your workplace? So there is nothing to worry about. We are going to discuss about this right here in this video. Stay tuned. Let's go ahead and see what is actually, I mean, how do you actually become an, uh, you know, efficient leader at work? Because invariably, if you have to succeed, you need to be a good leader, no matter where you are, be it at your work front or, in, you know, in your personal life. So leadership qualities are really, really required. Let's go ahead. Okay, well, I definitely remember whenever I used to look at my leaders, what is it, you know, what do, what is it that I used to expect out of them? Isn't it normal that whatever I used to expect out of them is actually the same what, you know, people are going to expect out of me when I become a leader? That is it. Problem solved. So just sit and retrospect and think as to whenever you had a leader, what is it that you used to expect out of them? So the first thing, um, you know, without any aorta of doubt is that set the right example being a leader. So don't we actually follow the way the, you know, the way in which our leaders do their work? Obviously we do. So being a leader, whatever you are expecting out of, you know, your subordinates or your team, you have to set an example for the same. Otherwise, you cannot expect you going in, you know, in a different direction and your team going in a different direction. Well, in that case, your leadership is going to be a big failure. So the first and the foremost thing, you know, which is needed for you to become a good leader is that you need to set an example because just saying, you know, just kind of throwing big, big lines and just speaking heavy words is not going to make it happen until and unless your actions follow the same, right? So your actions and your words have to go hand in hand. If they do not well, then it's tough to be a good leader. So first and foremost, you have to set an example for whatever you expect out of your subordinates. Okay, well, yes, here is the formula which is very much needed to be a good leader and that is Obviously, you need to continuously develop your leadership skills. Now, how do you do that? Well, converting the meaning of the acronym VUCA. Now, what is VUCA? It is, it is just an acronym which is created, right? So here, just have a look. So V stands for volatility. U stands for uncertainty. C stands for complexity. And A stands for ambiguity. So obviously these are the actually the tick mark points or the qualities which are completely opposite to being a good leader so now what do you want to, what do you need to do to actually become a good leader it's as simple just reverse them so volatility becomes vision uncertainty becomes understanding complexity becomes clarity and ambiguity becomes agility so obviously all of these are qualities vision understanding clarity and agility all of these are things which are very much needed to be a good leader well leadership does not only mean that you got to do everything yourself but it is more about setting an example because obviously when you are a leader it's not that you're doing everything yourself you are delegating the task but for your you know subordinates or your 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 team members to actually follow you or be kind of you know to to have a cordial relationship with you you need to set an example because without setting an example definitely no one is going to look up to you and obviously you, the the what is the work of a leader obviously the leader does not stand in the forefront right so at the forefront the teammates the team members are working but now the leader stands at the back and observes everything at the what is whatever is happening at the forefront right so now if there is any issue which happens at the forefront that is when the leader you know everyone looks up to the leader for a support so 
exactly which is what is needed to be a good leader right so whenever there is any crisis situation or or kind of you know a scenario wherein there has been a failure and now what to do everyone is going to look up to you right so for that to happen your volatility has to be converted into vision your uncertainty into understanding complexity into clarity and ambiguity into agility otherwise my dear friends becoming a leader is not going to be an easy task so it sounds kind of you know very very you know relaxing and it kind of sounds very very like a dream world oh my god i'm gonna become the leader i'm gonna sit at the top but the reality is there is a lot of pressure which the leader also has to handle so setting up or or you know living up to the expectations of your team is not as easy so for that you know to make that easy these are the things which we need to apply okay yes i mean seek and take responsibility for your action yes that is true everything comes with a pinch of salt and we have to take it well of course being a leader is a very very you know um, kind of it, it's it's kind of a glory and a pride to be a leader but the flip side of it is that you are responsible for everything so you have to take responsibility if being a leader you're just passing on the buck well then not really you are not a good leader and i'm sure your teammates are seeing that and that is what they would be doing so if you being a leader are passing your buck on to someone else that is exactly what your uh you know your your team members are going to do they also are going to just pass on the buck to you so well of course you you have the privilege of being a leader but at the same time keeping in mind that it comes with its own risks right so you have to take the responsibility of everything else because everyone is going to turn you know a turn to you or or everyone is going to look up to you whenever there is a crisis situation so obviously you have to take the responsibility of your own actions yes that is right keep your team informed well it's not just about um all the stress which which comes along with being a leader but there is uh it is also important that a leader should be a very very good informer right so you need to keep your team members informed you cannot stop the flow of information right so the flow of information has to be uninterrupted if you are changing and interrupting it at your own convenience well then definitely um, you know there is some issue which is going to crop up in no time well having said that of course you definitely as a leader you are in that position to judge and decide as to how much and you know what kind of information you want um, should be passed on but at the same time you cannot restrict the flow of information so to keep your team members informed is the most important task of a leader yes get to know your team because you cannot work in silos yes that is right even if you're a leader you cannot work in silos you need to keep your team informed it is as simple as that because kind of you need, you know you need to know your team if you if you do not know your team you cannot have a good relationship with your team it's as simple as that right so to have a good relationship with your team you need to spend time with them you need to get to know them probably at a personal level or also make them realize that you are the one definitely you are encouraging them you are kind of um, you know you are empowering them to do work but if something happens you are um, you know you are you are there for for their support so that is precisely uh, when you're going to win the loyalty of your team if if you do not get to know your team if you you are just working in your you're in your own world and you're working in a silo as well then you cannot hold your team for long um there'll be of course in no time it is it is going to just set apart right so definitely you need to know your team so as to get their loyalty and not just that if you know your team you definitely know as to which person would be um you know suited for what kind of a task so for that to happen knowing each and every member of your team is going to help you a lot otherwise achieving the targets would be almost impossible 
Well, last but not the least, delegating responsibilities is something which you definitely should just, just go ahead and do it without any hesitation because this is a very, very important quality of a leader, right? So a leader is not going to do everything by himself or herself. He or she is definitely going to delegate responsibilities. And just remember, it's not that you are passing orders um, you know, to someone when you are delegating responsibility. It is more about developing them, right? So when you are delegating them responsibility, definitely you are upskilling them, right? So you definitely are going to empower them. Now they, you're also going to help them whatever is, you know, whatever they need, you're going to help them to do that. But the work has to be done by the people whom you have delegated the responsibility to. So that is a very, very important task because, right, you are a leader today, but you also have to upskill and foster others to become good leaders tomorrow, isn't it? So for that to happen, people have to be upskilled and they are going to be upskilled only when you delegate them the task. If you do everything yourself, well, then your team would know very, very less. Well, friends, these were the qualities which I definitely used to look up to when I had a leader, right? So these were the qualities which definitely I felt that, okay, when I become a leader, this is going to help me a lot. And of course it did, right? So I'm sure it's going to help you as well. So do not forget that if you're a leader, this is what you need to be. Otherwise, your leadership is not going to work for long. So friends, we will see you again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. Have a good day.